Question number six. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? I know, I know, I know. it's me, I know. I know the answer. Hey, I no, know the I was first. No, no I, I know the answer. I got that first. Ah, stop the fighting. We need a better solution. Let's build our own quiz buzzer system and find out who answered first. Let's use these massive arcade buttons with 5 volt LED bulbs. They're pretty cool and very strong. We'll start by wiring up the four buttons to the Arduino using this schematic and an LED for each one, and also a button to reset the system. Then we'll need some code to control it. First we'll declare the pins that we'll connect our four buttons on. Then we'll declare the pins to use for the LED lamps. Then, in the setup function, we'll configure the buttons to be input pull-up and the LEDs to be output. Pressing the buttons, we'll connect them to ground. Finally, in the main loop, we'll check each of the buttons and if one is pressed, we'll turn on its LED. We'll then wait until the reset button is pressed and turn the LED off again. Let's build up a front brake board. I'm building this up with tactile buttons to start with because it's much easier. Now let's do some testing. It's not very impressive, is it? But it works. Let's add some sound effects. Introducing the DF Mini Board. This clever little board takes a micro SD card and can play MP3 files from it. Let's start by copying the sound effects for each button onto the card. Next, we need to wire it up according to this diagram. The DF Mini Board is controlled via serial connection and comes with an Arduino library ready to use. If you do have any issues using the DF Mini, then add a few capacitors between the 5V and ground. Once the library is installed, you'll need to make some changes to the code. Uh, changes to the code? First, we declare the soft serial interface and the DF Player Mini. Then, in the setup function, we initialize it and if successful, set the maximum volume level. Then, in the main loop, we add a command to play the sound effect we want and another to stop the sound when the reset button is pressed. Testing each button, I'm straining to hear the sound. That little speaker is too quiet. Let's try a bigger one. To use a speaker like this, we'll need an amp like this and we'll connect it up like this. There's no need to make any code changes, which is brilliant because this is all electrical connections. So let's hear that. And as you can hear, that's much louder. So what about these big buttons? Well, we need a suitable box for them, and sure, I could order one, but it's much more fun to print one. Oh, and those 5 volt LEDs don't need any extra resistors either. So here's one I printed earlier, and here's one all wired up. Support me by becoming a Patreon. How did that message get in there? Very strange. Anyway, I've put links to everything in the video description so you can build your own. Next time, I'm going to make these buttons wireless. So if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button and stick around. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.